The calls started coming in just before midnight. Two cars colliding with each other several times right here near the corner of Verity and Manchester. But exactly where this conflict began is still under investigation. They almost hit me. It was a car and a truck. The truck was behind him. It was a white Chevy extended cab truck, and he rammed him. And then I heard gunshots. 11.56 p.m. Tuesday, a caller telling the 911 operator what he saw. Like, you think they were, like, in a road rage? Yeah, something's going on. Okay. He rammed him like the truck hit the car and then gunshots went off. Then a few blocks away, that pickup truck hitting a telephone pole, another 911 caller telling the operator about the man behind the wheel. Is he bad, conscious? But... Nah, he's out. Like, I don't know. I don't, I can't touch him. He's got blood. It's blood can't... everywhere. And next thing I know, there was a bunch of cops out here. And I seen one cop, uh, I seen him doing like CPR on the body that was laying on the ground. Tammy Hibbard was watching the scene unfold from her balcony. She says first responders eventually stopped trying to save the man. The subject did die from a gunshot wound to his neck. At a press conference, Middletown's acting chief of police said his detectives are still trying to figure out what sparked the violence. We don't know exactly where it started. We've received multiple um, sources that have said it started at a bar down on South Main. We've got received sources that started at a place here on Central Avenue. Wherever it started, it ended here for a 26-year-old man. I guess the message at the end of the day is just be the better, better person and back off. Stuff like this isn't worth dying for. I just can't figure out why people are doing this. What's the purpose of it? Everybody's supposed to get along. Exactly what the suspect will face is yet to be announced, but it will likely include charges related to homicide and firearms. In Middletown, this is David Winter reporting. From breaking news to feel-good stories, Local 12 has it all. Tap subscribe and hit the links to find out more.